tonight on Old Spirits. OSI continues their investigation of the Antietam battlefield, the bloodiest battlefield on United States soil. T is pulled to a specific point of the surrounding forest, and when the team joins him, the activity is far from over. You sure you don't want to say hi? That's my wife up there. Is that you? Oh! I said no. Wow. Did you, you hear what I just said? What? I said no. I said no, that just went off. Tina, are you playing with another stick? This went from no, zero point two. Fly hockey jerseys are back. I'm T. I'm Phil. Doesn't this look good on you? This looks absolutely fantastic on you. I forgot to mention that in the uh, very first part of our Antietam investigation, the, the, the addition of the OSI hockey jerseys. Yeah. I'm very proud of this design, if you can't tell. Uh, so, Phil, we are now going back to Antietam. Back we to Antietam. had just gone into the church, found some really incredible things in that church. Now, Tell us about where we're headed here. So we make our way out of the church and we cross into the forest that is surrounding said battlefield. Uh, we spend a little time in there. In particular, you have some interesting encounters that of course we're gonna save the good stuff for the footage. <laughs> But before we get to part two of our Antietam investigation, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to like this video. And while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for whenever we put up new content because the likes, the subs, joining us for premieres, joining us on live investigations, and now joining us for a membership. Yeah, well, you get emotes, you get exclusive content, and you might even get a few of the times that uh, I get tongue-tied, which tonight has been often. <laughs> I don't mind saying it, I'm gonna own it, I'm gonna own, own it. Baby, own it. But let's get to the footage that we got for you at the Antietam Battlefield. Shall we hit it? Let's do it. Boom. I'm gonna go a little further down this way. Just trying to find a good place to stop back here. Trying to pick up on a vibe or just an overall impression. What's 
that, what does the old legend say? Never stray from the path. And yet here I am, straying from the path. I don't want to get close to here. there's anyone here with me, this is my best friend's influence on me. I don't think I would have ever had done this many moons ago. But here we are. Here we are. myself on, Well, you see how that works. You get close to it, and it makes a noise. What do you think of that? It's just a way of letting me know that I'm not alone in the woods. My best friends, Phil and Tina, are over there. And my wife, Pip, is even further up. In fact, I can hear them right now. But if you're close to me, all you have to do is go up, and it won't hurt you. The device won't hurt you at all. You can come right up to this and just get close to it. And that tells me you're right here with me. I don't know what pulled me to this spot, but here I am. So I'm at your disposal. My name is T. The device in my hand will actually record your voice. <clears throat> so if you want to talk to me, you can actually speak into this box in my hand. that you're here? Or do you want to just uh, keep an eye on me and my strange contraptions? I 
I don't think it was this quiet the day you were here in Antietam. That is, if you're, if you're actually here with me. Sure you don't want to say hi? Sure you don't want to say hi? Sure you don't want to say hi? I don't think it was this quiet the day you were here in Antietam. That is if you're if you're actually here with me. Sure you don't want to say hi? While ready to dismiss the sound as wildlife, it came as a sudden shock that the sound was absent on the H4N. As you know, we believe in redundancy here at OSI, so what exactly did I capture, and why didn't the H4N catch it as well? Let us know in the comments section below. Now I felt a pull back here. I feel like you called me out here. You brought me out here. So, you don't have to be shy, you don't have to be afraid. All I want to do is make a connection with you. And these devices aren't going to hurt you. They just let me know that you're here. Just an indicator to let me know that I'm not alone in the woods. That's my wife up there. Is that you? That was my wife at the top of the hill, if you were curious. I don't think she saw me because she didn't come any closer. Hi. Again, my name is T. Are you one of the locals of Sharpsburg, or are you part of uh, of the uh, military that was here? My wife just asked me where I was. Come down a little further down the path, you'll see me in the middle of the woods, period. <clears throat> you see me? Keep coming down the path. Keep coming down the path. 
Follow the path. <laughs> That's my wife. I think she might be a little worried about me. Were you a soldier? Can you make that beep and let me know if you're a soldier? <coughs> or were you part of this land before the soldiers came? If you were here before the white settlers moved in, make that box be. That's more attractive than, than my melmeter. Because you know, <laughs> my melmeter was my melmeter was beaten, but not like that. Look at you. So let me, so do you prefer the look of this music box versus the look of my music box? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I will not take offense. If you would prefer to work to communicate with us through this music box, I will put my music box away. Does that make you happy? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty um, good. That was awesome. Okay, good. <laughs> Portal's coming out. Portal's coming out. Portal's coming out. Coming out. <laughs> you even know what a portal is. That's for the only fans. What, me punching Phil in the eye? <laughs> yeah, right. And he's like, you see it and it's going because it's a time lapse. And all of a sudden you're like, Stop me up. Wow. <laughs> you, see, you see that, right? Yeah. Do you want this camera, babe? Do you want Tim? Tim's got the mic. Uh, I'm currently doing this. So Did you ever send I'm me the cool link for that mic? Whatever. No, I? my husband would have to send it because it was an anniversary gift, so I don't know okay. where he got it. I think you asked him. I think you asked your boyfriend and he did not get it. Fair enough. Wow. Did you not like that? I called him his boyfriend. <laughs> that was well, not. Uh, I was because uh, yeah, I, I I would like I would like to start getting a mic for for my own microphone, uh, my own cameras. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, I know we're crowding. Yeah, I apologize. I'm gonna just yeah, move I'm this out of the way. way. See, so ow. Well, that's because I'm holding it. Uh. I'm not. I just said I wanted to. <laughs> everyone vetoed it already. <laughs> I just said I wanted to, and then everyone told me not to, and now I can't. So. Right now, it's uh. flatline. Oh! I said no. Wow. Did you yeah. hear what I just said? What? I said no. No, that just went off. Tina, this are you playing with another stick? This went from no, 0, 0. Just, what is that? Gin. Got any gin? Phil, this one from 0, 0.0 no, to 8.1. It's now floating between 2.1 and 1.1. 1 .1. We would love some gin. Very interesting. Do you have any? We would love a shot of gin. You set up the you set up the portal. Now it's flat again. Who's out here with us? That was interesting. Do you 
Let me, let me Are we out here with any soldiers that fought in these woods? Oh, oh you just dropped some. Okay. My name's Phil. I'm T. I'm Philippa. And this is Tina, Bill's wife. Okay. Okay. About that. Yeah. Please don't be shy. I'll well, back up just a little just, bit. Yeah, there's an edge. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that was their that last investigation. I've been out here, been out here for a bit, as you, as you saw me. And uh, I told you I was out here with my friends. Well, here they are. Are you okay with that? I love how they're so I'm sitting on the for pretty hours. Can you tell us your name? How about your rank? Private company. I heard private. Definitely I heard, said private. I heard, yeah. I heard company. You're I missed private. Miss private. You're a private. Are you here by yourself? You're about to have someone come join you. <laughs> Just don't pull a racist paranormal investigator and break my equipment team. That's all I have. I would never do that. <laughs> don't worry, I'll follow a different way. Is this your first battle? Yes. I, I, I asserted yes. Mm. Are you with the Army of the Potomac? Busy. Oh, you're busy. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you up to out in, this, in these woods that you're busy? Did you know the battle was coming? smoke in the air that day. It must have been very hard to breathe. Oh, did you see it? No, that was your rempon. Oh, it was your rempon. Rempon. Are you thirsty? Can you tell us what year is it? I'm sorry for talking over you. So I'll ask again. Can you tell me what year it is? Yeah. So what year is it? Want me to move away? I mean, I, you know, I'm just staying staying close to my friend here, but I can I can move away if you want me to move away. Organ. What did it say? Organ. Maybe your organs are too close to. <laughs> your organs are way too close. To move back up your organ. <laughs> back that organ up. So we have a, there's a private here with us. 
Any other young men? All right, that was me. Any young soldiers here? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Can I beep? You know. Did we get any method? No, I'm Yeti. Got an email from the Yeti. to do tricks for us. We're not asking you to to perform some kind of circus freak. We are here to... No. You're absolutely right. No. We are here to talk to you. That's the second time I've heard the same sound come through the uh, spirit box with the same voice. It's saying it so fast it almost sounds like Edward. I was just going to say Eddie. Yeah, or Eddie. Now, would Eddie have been a nickname back in, in the 1800s? I don't think so. I don't know, but I wonder if it's repeating because we keep saying Eddie. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's, that's a good Eddie, point. Is, is Eddie your Eddie. name, or is are you is, just like the name of the device? <laughs> is Ed, yeah, the, 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 the orange box is called, we call it Fast Eddie. I feel like it said Eddie again. It's a nice name to say, I don't know. Did you have a friend named Eddie or Edward? Maybe a brother? I think we may be moving on here in a couple minutes. Bless you. Mate. Bless you, on. Is there uh, anything you'd like to say before we uh, keep exploring? It beeped and it said Eddie. See, I told you. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for well, letting I, us know that you're here. And thank you for uh, for showing a little, little love to Fast Eddie. That's my favorite of all these gadgets here. <laughs> maybe next to maybe next to the portal. It does kind of stand out with this bright orange. It's nice. Now I kind of want Okay, we're going to move on now because there's a lot of, you know there's a lot of, uh, Stories waiting to be told out there. <coughs> a lot of places to visit so, here. Uh, we're we're going to keep moving. But uh, the good news is we're not far from here. Five point seven. So I'll tell you what. We'll. we'll uh, wow. What? what? Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> it's my. You see, they went up when you um, got close to me because uh, I'm broadcasting. Um, when you come this close. Is that you, or is that just the two boys? <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm electric. You're a, you're a walking yeah. EMF field. I am. Yeah. You're over there, you're, you're fine over there. Yeah. It seems to be about the radius. Okay, we are moving out. So now. excited at that point. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're getting hits back over there. I'm so bored. All right. See, you're getting better at debunking. See, it, it suits you. Yeah. Uh. It suits you. Watch yourself. <laughs> You know, it's always it's always interesting after time has gone by yeah. and you revisit footage of an investigation where you think you've remembered it pretty accurately, but then when you sit down and you look at the evidence you've gathered, and sometimes it's it's, it's surprising what slips from your memory. It, we we often joke with each other about how much gear we're always carrying around, but. When you really do look at what we're carrying around, most of it is in fact video yeah. and audio because we're trying to capture every second of where we are in a space. Right. And wow, I I, uh, I I sometimes scratch my head and go, did that actually happen? And <laughs> yeah, and it's a beautiful place, Antietam. Absolutely beautiful place. But the heaviness there is still very different. I, I kept comparing it to Gettysburg. For some mm -hmm. reason, I think I was expecting it to be more intense than Gettysburg, but it felt like it was, because it was much more concentrated than Gettysburg. It was, right. it was one day of fighting, right. and it was a ferocious. One ferocious day of fighting. Yeah. But with Gettysburg, you have three days, and there's just mm -hmm. the, the place just the place just feels saturated when you when you get there. 
And Tatum is very different though. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. still trying to figure out, even after yeah. after our investigation there, after creating these episodes, I'm, I'm just like, what is it about Antietam? Well, you gotta wonder, part of it is, has something to do with the fact that paranormal investigators stream through Gettysburg at a fairly regular frequency. Yeah, that is very true. That is very we true. We don't know if that's the case with Antietam. No. No, we don't. We can take an educated guess and right. say it probably does not get as much traffic, and maybe that has something to do with it. I mean, there are a lot of battlefields that don't get the traffic that yeah. Gettysburg does. Yeah. And it could be because Gettysburg was such a decisive battle, but mm -hmm. then again, so was Antietam. Yeah. It may not have been across um, a, a sprawling scale as, say, the first or even second battle of Manassas, but still, mm -hmm. Antietam was very close. There are all these things where I can say, I, I, I think where I'm going with this is I feel like Antietam doesn't get the same love that Gettysburg gets or even Manassas gets. It, it, there's, it was still one of the most strategic points of the American Civil War. It was still a very decisive battle, but then you have the, the scope of Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. You got the strategic value of Manassas, both first and second battles. So it, it's, but it, it's just funny because you know, Antietam is its is its own beast. Yeah. You know? And and you, it's important to consider that still such a profound loss of life at Antietam, and it de it deserves the right kind of attention. Yes. Not there we go. The, there we go. Not a uh, in any way um, what's the word I'm looking for? Drawn a blank. You're not not exploitive. No. It you're... doesn't deserve to be exploited for thrills and chills. And you're not taking away from right. you know Gettysburg right. or No, but the stories need places. to be told yeah. is what I'm saying. It's a place that needs to be where the stories still need to be told. Would you of... think though, would you think that Antietam is like some of the other smaller battles that are in our area, whether it is uh, the Battle for the Shenandoah Valley, whether it is Bristow Run, Balls whether Bluff. it is Balls Bluff. I mean, you know, what I've noticed is that the smaller battles tend to have a really high charged atmosphere. I still remember mm -hmm. when I went out to Balls Bluff that first time and I'm like, oh, I see now why Phil comes out yeah. here. Yeah. And Antietam, while still a very important battle, I don't feel like it gets as much attention as, say, the first and second battle of Manassas or even Gettysburg, but there's still that same kind of energy, the same kind yeah. of electricity in the air. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I, I find it an intriguing place. Am I ready to go back there like I'm ready to go back to Gettysburg? I, I don't think so. I, I think I'd like to go back there in a few years, yeah. just to see if, if we can, you know, pick up on a vibe again like that. Uh, but I, I, I don't feel the pull yeah. like I do with 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 some of these other battlefields, and particularly some of the smaller battlefields. Yeah. I feel more of a pull uh, towards those because, again, I don't think they get the attention that they that they've earned. Right. All really great points. Don't think I really have all that much to add to that. I think I'm just gonna stop the conversation there because whenever I can walk away from me being right, that's a good day. But we'd like to hear from you. We'd like to know what you thought of this investigation and of your favorite corners of the American Civil War or of any battlefield on American soil. We'd love to know what you think, or hey, if you're watching from overseas, tell us about some of the battlefields in your area. We'd love to hear about them. And while you're leaving that comment, make sure to like the video and while you're at it, Make sure to subscribe to the channel, enable those notifications so you know whenever new content is dropping. All those interactions, the likes, the subs, joining us for premieres, joining us for live streams, and yeah, becoming a member of the channel, all that really helps us out at Old Spirits. See, what happened was... What happened was? What happened was, was that right before season three launched, we became YouTube partners, and we're pretty excited about that, and we feel like we're celebrating with you. So thank you, everyone, for all the support you've been showing us, and thank you for watching this episode. On behalf of everyone here, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.